30 pages of disturbing details unsealed in court yesterday. And we can tell you being in front of this house, now we're getting a better picture of what happened inside this Massapequa Park home here. So much was found that now linked Rex Heuerman to possibly more cases. And we can tell you one of those links revealed by investigators, hair fibers. Now the families of Jessica Taylor and Sandra Castillo can have some closure as prosecutors have added them to the list of six women now killed by Rex Heuerman. Prosecutors say they can place Heuerman in the vicinity during Taylor's death in July 2003 and the November 1993 killing of Sandra Castillo. They found what's believed to be Heuerman's hair near their bodies. And all of this also indicates, according to prosecutors, that he was an active serial killer for much longer than first suspected. For the first time, we're also hearing about what looks like a serial killer's blueprint, a, quote, planning document recovered by forensic experts from Heuerman's computer. It showed a list of problems, supplies, dump sites, targets, what to prepare before abductions and torture, and what to do after disposing of the bodies, and what to remember for the next kill. It was so much for the victims to take in. Listen. This year has been 21 years since she was taken from us, longer than the chance that she got to be alive. I can't express what this day means after waiting and hoping for answers. Now we're at six, and I don't know, based on what the district attorney said, he insinuated to some extent that, that there may be more forthcoming. And we can also tell you that the Suffolk County District Attorney says the investigation does continue and that it's safe to say he's a suspect in other murders. We're going to have more on that coming up on 6, but back out here live at this house. What forensic experts found, we got our first look in court yesterday, and it's more disturbing than first thought. Rex Heuerman has pleaded not guilty to all six murders. And as you heard from the District Attorney, more are on the way. We're live in Massapequa Park in Calorama, PIX11 News.